Hello everyone, this is Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project and I'm uh, back uh, doing another demonstration video for using the superpower calculator to do some race planning um, and come up with some race power targets. Uh, this time we are uh, doing this for John who is uh, getting ready to race a 10,000 meter or 10K um, target A race. And um, uh, basically what I asked John for is uh, recent CP uh, test information or FTP information. And he provided me uh, a recent CP test. I also asked for stride weight, he gave me that. Um, I asked him for some representative um, running effectiveness values for uh, some tempos in higher intensity running. Uh, in this case, we were using half marathon power tempo um, of 15 minutes in duration, which, which should give us a pretty fair uh, estimate of his running effectiveness um, in, in a 10K. Uh, I'm not using his, his five and a half minute uh, intervals which were done at uh, threshold and maybe a little bit above um, because they're, they're short and they're going to give us a little bit too high of a reading on re running effectiveness. The other thing I asked him for is um, the course elevation profile and then also the hilliness of his of his um, of this workout where he generated a running effectiveness um, values from those half marathon uh, tempos. And the reason I asked for that is so I could uh, just get an idea what the course variability index or the CVI is. And it turns out that his, um, his uh, the CVI, um, which is calculated by total feet of elevation divided by uh, total uh, distance run. Um, the CVI expected from the race is right around 11, which is fairly flat. Um, and, and this race does have one little hill in it, but um, it's overall, it's, it's fairly flat. And the CVI from his, um, his two times 15 minute half marathon power workout. And the CVI for that was also similar, is, is near 11. So fortunately we you can compare these running effectiveness values because they're of similar hilliness um, if one cvi was way you know 20 you know one was 30 and the other one was 10 then it'd be harder to compare and we'd have to sort of make some adjustments in our estimation so he gave us that and then i asked him for any condition changes any differences in altitude or temperature humidity versus what he's accustomed to, in particular, um, is when he did his CP test. And fortunately, he kept uh, track of all of his, all of his uh, CP tests and um, had um, you know, the, 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 the temperature and humidity, um, which are all um, very valuable information. Turns out, and he also has a for, gave me the forecast for the race too, so. Um, in any case, let's go ahead and, and sort through this. And so we're going to start first with the CP tests. So I'm going to come to the superpower calculator and it has a drop down box of different uh, functionalities, different calculating functionalities within the superpower calculator. And um, what I'm going to do here is select, calculate the FTP or CP an anaerobic work capacity from two or more maximal effort activities, which is the CP test. He did a 310, three minute and 10 minute uh, protocol. So um, I select that option and I put in his, his weight that he provided me was 73.5 kilograms. And I put in the information for his, um, his test. Now, these are optional for this particular functionality. If it was required, it would be yellow. These would turn yellow if it was a required. These are optional. And the green, of course, we're not, we don't have to fill in anything. That's where the result is going to be 
um, uh, broadcast um, or displayed. So um, we're going to go to we're going to put in the activities. We're going to go to the activities tab to put in the results of his uh, CP test. And it was 327.1 watts for three minute two seconds, 280.3 watts for 10 minutes and one second. I just put those values in ahead of time and I come back to the main tab and we just scroll down and there is the result. So it produces a critical power of 260 watts, uh, anaerobic work capacity, AWC, anaerobic work capacity of 12.2 uh, kilojoules. Um, this seems a little high, but he kept good uh, records of all of his other tests. And this is pretty similar to his last you know, several tests. Uh, so it doesn't uh, strike me as being really out of line, um, given that it's consistent with what his, his tests are. So um, 260 watt CP. All right, so the next thing I want to do in uh, getting ready to do the race power um, uh, scenario planning is I need, uh, I'm going to need a, a running effectiveness estimate. Well, we do have the capacity to calculate running effectiveness from some activities. And so um, I'm just going to take running effectiveness from those that, that half marathon tempo work that he did. So I select that and notice there's no required activities or no re required fills here. Uh, the, the weight is still in there and that's optional. So we're going to go to the uh, activities, um, and we could do this with you know up to ten, but we're only going to need um, the two 15-minute um, tempos, and the uh, tempo outcomes of two hundred were two hundred forty-seven point two watts, and that was for um, fifteen minutes of running, and the distance was miles. Now. Keep in mind, the superpower calculator has the ability to, to toggle your units wherever you see these little drop-down boxes. So I can toggle units in, in any way I want. So um, the I'm going to delete this and this. And the, uh, the other 15-minute tempo was 246.2 watts. And that was for uh, 15 minutes and one second. And that was for 1.86 miles in this case. Um, and so uh, once I hit the enter button for those, uh, I don't know what's going on here. I put in a comma instead of a period. There we go. So, um, and we can scroll over. And in this case, I don't want to necessarily cal calculate these other uh, these other uh, metrics. I just want the running effectiveness. And so the, for the first one, he was about uh, 0.98. The second one was about 0.99. So that gives me some reference running effectiveness for when I go back into the, um, the race planning. Um, so I'm going to come back here and now I'm going to go into, hey, let's plan. Uh, let's um, get a race power scenario. So we're going to look for uh, scenarios right here. Um, so notice how I once I clicked on that, that functionality, now we have some requirements. And so... Um, I, the, the weight was already in there. That's required. The FTP, 260 watts. That's from the CP test. Um, you can also put in watts per kilogram, by the way. Um, so, and then it also requires the distance, which I'm just putting at 10,000 meters. Uh, just a side note, if, you're, if your uh, pod usually reports distance um, you know, 1% longer or half percent longer, then bump this up. 10,000 um, 
10,100 meters, if it's, it typically records 1% higher. Or conversely, if it's, if it's uh, your pod records lower, half percent lower, then you want to put 9,950 meters. Um, so, um, but I'm putting in 10,000 here since I don't know um, the reality of it. Um, and uh, we'll play around a little bit here too. So his, his, um, his uh, these are optional entries. You don't have to put them in, but his, um, the race and his typical training locations are around 450 feet. His CP test was at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, we have drop down boxes for changing the units and 84% humidity. Race forecast is uh, for 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 67% humidity. Um, which uh, gives him about 1% bump in his, uh, in his threshold power and subsequently his targets as well. So we're going to play with that. Um, now we're going to look at race power scenarios. So we click over here to the race uh, scenario uh, page. And remember running effectiveness from those two 15 minute uh, uh, half marathon power uh, tempos we're about 0 0.98, 0 0.99. I think those will be pretty representative of what he can do. Um, 0 0.99 is uh, optimistic, um, but it's possible because he is running at a little bit higher intensity than half marathon power. So we're gonna look at both of those. We're gonna bracket both of those. Um, and then you notice I have a lot of different Ragal exponents, exponents that I put in here. Uh, I, I would think the most logical for him is going to be minus 0 0.08. It could be minus 0 0.07. It's possible. It's possible it could be as, uh, zero, uh, minus 0 0.09. Unlikely, though. Um, so what, what power is the resultant from that? Uh, let's go back and highlight that guy. That guy. There we go. So for a Rigel exponent of minus 0 0.08 and a, um, a target RE of uh, 0 0.98, it's 264 watts. And it's the same thing for uh, zero, minus 0 0.08 and 0 0.99 running effectiveness. In fact, look. They're all 264 watts. So it's pretty solid estimate of 264 watts. That's uh, assuming that um, the CP test is valid, which I think it is. And it's assuming that those, uh, those uh, activity, the, the conditions are accurate. Let's just play around. And let's just assume that he doesn't get that nice uh, cooler day with a little bit lower um, uh, humidity, let's say it's 72, per, uh, 72 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, we're 84% uh, humidity, which is the same as, same as on CP test day. Um, we we'll go back to scenarios and there, there we go. Uh, so there's our uh, estimates, 261 watts. So that's the more conservative estimate. Um, there is a hill in sort of the, the early part, early stages of this race. So what I would, I would suggest to him is uh, open up in the, uh, with a uh, range, a target range of 261 to 264 watts. Allow yourself to go maybe 265 up the hill. Um, you may drop back down to uh, 261, 262 on the downhill side, but then you want to see that average power in that um, 261 to 264 range as you get to the 5K mark. And after the 5K mark, if you're feeling really good, 
then hover that 264, even 265, you're really feeling good. But the, uh, the opening um, uh, target is 261 to 264. I really think he's going to hit 264. Um, and that's what I would advise um, for, for John in this 10,000-meter uh, race. So um, once again, this is Superpower Calculator. Um, we just went through an example uh, where we, uh, we used it for estimating or calculating running effectiveness from a couple of uh, uh, tempo efforts. We used it for uh, calculating his uh, CP from a recent CP test. We used it for race planning scenarios, even adjusting for uh, some of the, um, the environmental conditions. So uh, there's, there's more to it than that, um, but those are some, uh, some uh, detailed and important functionalities uh, for coming up with some uh, solid race uh, power planning. Um, thank you for watching and I uh, hope to uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.